questions and points, but I'm going to ask uh, Ahmed to make his contribution now. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, Ahmed's a United for Peace member and supporter, but is also the head of the Azerbaijan Institute for Democracy and Human Rights. So, thank you, uh, thank you for <coughs> organising uh, this important discussion and inviting me. Uh, thanks, Mr. Uh, Brian for detailed information about this book and I have attended uh, in different uh, events about a uh, book how not to go to war and I will um, make my opinion and my uh, thoughts differently from the point of human rights because I am as a human rights defender uh, from Azerbaijan I uh, represent civil society of Azerbaijan in different international organizations such as OEC, Council of Europe and uh, other international platforms. Uh, I think um, this is a very important and uh, very um, strong book that we uh, should promote it worldwide because uh, war for me is violation of human rights. Uh, war, war is for me uh, destroying the homes, churches, mosques, uh, war is uh, innocent killing of innocent people worldwide and uh, it's very uh, strange that there are a lot of uh, countries that support war, a lot of uh, parties, a lot of powers and uh, the people in societies they are very weak uh, who promote peace. Unfortunately the uh, people who uh, wish to war, who uh, wish to battle and uh, they are more um, powerful, they are more strong and uh, regarding the peace, when we talk about peace uh, we understood uh, to win this battle and make opposite side to sign any agreement. For example, uh, the conflicting sides, and there are a lot of conflicts in the world. Uh, and my country, Azerbaijan, is one of them. Uh, we, uh, more than 30 years, we are suffering from uh, war with our neighbor, Armenia, and during these years, uh, we have lost 20% um, of our territories, and uh, we have lost more than uh, 30,000 uh, of our people, and we have uh, more than 1 million refugees. And when we think about peace, when we talk about peace, politicians in my country, in both in Armenia and in Azerbaijan, uh, when we talk about peace, we understood the, to win this war and to make uh, opposite side to uh, sit under the table and sign any agreement, agreement that will be more beneficial for us. But that's why I fully support the, uh, the ideas that uh, Mr. Mehta uh, promote uh, in his book about peace. We have uh, to change the um, approach to peace. What's peace? And we have um, we should have more people in society that promote peace and both in governments, in states, in societies, we uh, should have uh, departments, societies that promote peace, not war. But unfortunately, today, um, the governments, the states promote war and they are proud to be uh, more stronger than their enemies, the opposite side. And every year they make, uh, spend more money for uh, getting new weapons, uh, and develop the uh, war industry uh, and unfortunately some uh, great powers including UK uh, who is uh, one of the permanent uh, member of UN uh, Security Council uh, which is responsible for peace in the world and from the another hand um, export more weapons to another country, such as Azerbaijan, to my country. And mm, this is very strange. One country, one power, from one hand, uh, wish peace in the world, from the another hand, 
uh, sell, export weapons to uh, countries uh, conflicting with each other. And that's why, from the another hand, Azerbaijan is also uh, spent a huge money for getting new weapons from UK, from US, from Russia, from Israel. And for what? For, um, how to say, uh, kill opposite side. And the opposite side, Armenia, is also getting new weapons every year. And the uh, main aim uh, is similar, to kill each other. And nobody uh, talks about peace. Everyone understand, uh, understand the peace from his own interest. And always, all politicians in Azerbaijan and Armenia, uh, all international organizations, OEC, Minsk Group, which is uh, a mediator for peace uh, in this Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, all of us uh, are talking about peace, but we have own uh, meaning, peace. What is peace? And we should uh, prepare our uh, nations uh, for peace. For example, last month we have some positive um, steps in getting peace in Nagorno-Karabakh. First of all, uh, journalists. Recent uh, week, during the recent week, the, some journalists from Armenia visited Azerbaijan, and uh, some journalists from Azerbaijan uh, go to Armenia just to see, to walk as tourists, to make some uh, interviews, take some photos, videos, and I'm very proud, I'm very glad that we have some uh, positive uh, news in this conflict. But there are a lot of people, both in Azerbaijan and in Armenia, that they are against these visits. And they think that uh, the journalists, the ordinary citizens, uh, no matter, uh, we, we, we should not go to and visit the Ar Armenia, the uh, enemy country. And Armenians also think that we should not go to Azerbaijan, they are our enemy. And how we can achieve peace? As a human rights defender, of recent last five years, uh, I'm dealing with uh, protecting the rights of uh, captives and hostages. Uh, because uh, since uh, 1992, we have more than uh, 4,000 uh, hostages in Armenian side, and this is also a very sensitive issue. And because as a human rights defender, I am interested in uh, humanitarian aspects of conflicts. Uh, main is the rights of people. Main uh, is uh, the rights of uh, refugees, captives, and hostages. Believe me, this is very uh, difficult to have. Uh, some uh, positive uh, news, positive uh, achieve some positive results in this issue. Because even uh, last during the last five years, uh, we cannot visit the Azerbaijan hostages in Armenia, and we 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 have very uh, strong barriers even to visit them uh, to learn how um, they are the. Uh, well, because I think uh, that's why I fully support uh, Mehta's, Mr. Mehta's uh, book about uh, creating peace departments, because we should uh, change the minds of people about peace, about uh, together living. Uh, after that, we can talk about peace, discussions, and getting real peace in the world. And as Mr. Mehta proposed in uh, books, uh, we, we should uh, start this peace building from uh, secondary schools. Because maybe our fathers, our grandfathers, they were uh, in war and they uh, don't accept any peace because they remember these his historic days, how they fight each other. Maybe we are also involved in war because um, uh, 10, 15 uh, years ago we remember those days how we uh, kill each other in uh, front line. But our children, uh, they don't have any idea about who is our enemy or not. They, uh, the children, they are innocent and they don't uh, think about war and they uh, have to live in peace. That's why maybe we, we should transfer this 
uh, and give these um, very uh, how to say difficult responsibility to them by teaching them uh, to peace to uh, together living and that's why I fully support that idea that uh, we should start this peace building from uh, secondary schools but unfortunately this is also uh, just uh, idea. We should implement these ideas. We should change maybe our legislation, uh, our uh, education system uh, by teaching peace in secondary schools. But the fact that uh, in our schools uh, there are patriotic and some nationalistic uh, teaching are uh, more regular from uh, first class of the secondary school we teach our children uh, who is your enemy this is your enemy this nation is your enemy uh, this religion is not yours you should uh, believe i don't know or islam or uh, christianity and by this way we uh, make some barriers to get peace for uh, these children for our uh, future and after uh, 10 years, 20 years when they grow up and uh, become um, the ordinary citizen of our city, uh, of our country, we uh, give him or her weapon and uh, ask uh, to kill so uh, called enemy. And that's why I think we should start from the secondary schools, we should uh, start uh, from ourselves, from our minds, and uh, we should respect the interest of uh, another nations, another countries, another cities, another uh, religions. And not, it's not uh, enough to just read this book. We should uh, promote this book in uh, different cities, in different countries. We should promote uh, this book uh, inside the government, inside the uh, states, so uh, to implement these ideas written in this book. Also, as an ordinary citizen, I think uh, we should uh, support those politicians, those uh, activists, those uh, governmental uh, figures that uh, promote peace, not war. Because uh, some populist politicians, they uh, uh, get some votes and they win in elections by uh, promoting wars. If I will uh, elect it to MP, uh, uh, to prime minister, I will do this, uh, I don't something for uh, getting uh, new weapons, new uh, power for our country. And unfortunately, these persons are uh, elected to these positions because that's why all this responsibility lies on the ordinary citizen that they must be very careful, very attentive to the platforms of those politicians, uh, what are they talking about uh, and they should elect uh, those politicians who promote peace, promote together living, uh, promote mutual respect uh, in society. So. As a human rights defender, I just fully support this book, these ideas, and thanks to all of you, to all organizers that um, you gathered here to discuss this book uh, by discussions, by a mutual exchange of our ideas, so we can uh, be more uh, strong and promote these books and uh, make chance for another writers, for another uh, activists to write the another books, uh, to be more and more active because we uh, have to be to live in peace. We have uh, to live in prosperity because uh, the war uh, is not a way uh, to live. The only way is peace, and I wish all nations, all countries, all of us uh, to live in peace and prosperity. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Amai. A, a very interesting contribution, and I think you just underlined just how difficult the situation is between Azerbaijan and Armenia. You know, it's uh, obviously a very difficult situation, and I think best wishes would go from this meeting. We would hope. I mean, there seems to be some positive developments, but in resolving that conflict, but let's hope it continues. So, thanks. To, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Well, thanks. Thank you.